lowered expectations. Lower your expectations. To Laverne and Shirley, I give you the Trump that would Trump. If I was president for one day, even on drugs, who in the fuck cares what I would do? I have a list. I have a bullet list. And the first thing I would do, Sharon and Karen, is I would cancel out this fucking wall. What does that even mean? A wall. We removed a wall from Germany in my lifetime, and it was so treasured. The removal of the wall that Soros made money and broke the bank off the UK when they removed the wall. Kiting funds between Germany and the UK. Don't do it, children. It won't work again. They're on to you. But he did it. A Jew. A proud Jew. Who knew the system and how to break it. And he gave you funds to destroy yourself. What a nice guy. So, for Trump, I trump you, Trumper. Trump, I trump the Trumper. I trump the Trumper. I love the lover, and I trump the Trumper. So, I would remove the wall because it does not work. How many holes can you drill in a wall? I should know. Wall over. I like a bullet train straight to your heart. So, Canada. I love your healthcare system. I hear but I know one thing is for sure. You have the population of California on the landmass of the United States, and you're robbing us blind. If your healthcare system works, I say cave it in. Why are we friends? Let's just take over Canada. Why are we, why are we even interested in Mexico? I say extend the bullet train from south of the border to the border of Canada. And share the love. For a population of California on the landmass of the United States, share the love. Always a cause. Why would I not? Other concepts on running the country. Um, oh, yes. Follywood. In Bollywood. Because Hollywood has no more competition post Sharon Osbourne. I remember a day when Betty Davis said, Fuck you. Fuck you, Hollywood. She said, fuck you, Hollywood. Fuck you, Hollywood. I'm moving on to better spaces. And she moved over to the United Kingdom. And she did um, Anniversary. She did a lot of great films. Have you watched that film? Madonna? Mm, Madam X? You've seen it. I think you have. Yes. So, my idea is to build Bollywood and Bollywood. For the Prince of Saudi Arabia. You like that? Keep your keep your kingdom in stock versus Iran. You now have a place for Muslim women to go, someone has a heart. Yes, I know that. I know that in Hollywood. I've lived it thanks to Harvey Weinstein and Fierstein. Oh, honey, I've done a rabbit sandwich and it tore me apart. Who could fit two fucking goddamn badasses in that fucking wanker at once? I ask you, Queen of England, Jesus Christ, I can't breathe. <clears throat> so, Bollywood and Bollywood, are we agreed? I think we are at some point. I do think so. <clears throat> what were my other ideas? Oh, oh, China, China. Xi Jinping, the one who's screwing business over for everyone. No one is even watching the Olympics. No one's proud. No one's international anymore because of you. So for communist China, I have a new concept. If India's pseudo <clears throat> democracy post Indira Gandhi, and um, if you don't think there's face facial recognition, please look at Hadid. You don't think they hired her because she looked like Indira Gandhi? Eh? I think, I think facial recognition's been going on for quite some time, babes. So, game over. Game over, Xi Jinping. Pseudo-communism. 
And within that, you can market your cultures like France markets its cultures. And you can break yourself apart a little bit. Cry a little bit, whatever. Break it apart a little bit. Market your Uyghur Muslims and use their love of imprinting non bread for plates and compete with Le Creuset and compete with Homer Laughlin. What do you say? Ah? Better than making them force them to make fucking shoes for my fat lesbian aunt who likes sketches. I, I gave her some goddamn... Look at these. Look at these fucking shoes. Look at these shoes. Oh, my God. The best approach shoes. And they come from Italy and Romania. And I don't buy logos ever. I don't need to prove it. Another question. Is Under Armour the new fucking Batman symbol for loser dads? I asked someone yesterday. It was Nike. Then it was... And somebody said Adidas was not pronounced Adidas, and I don't care. I really don't. <laughs> all, dream, all day I dream about sex too, honey. But um, is Under Armour the new sad excuse for fat dads who can't fucking break it or make it? I just have to ask you because I don't do logos or symbols. I don't in my clothing because I don't like... It's, it was, it's a tradition since I was a kid. I don't like to promote other fucking motherfuckers like Phil Knight. And like Adidas or Under Armour. I don't do that for you. I try not to, but I like quality. I like quality. So I think we got Muslims would be more into quality if you would promote this, the non-bread and put it into plates and make a, make a new market for them. Why don't you look at the cultures, Xi Jinping, and figure out how, how to market them instead of the other way around? It's called pseudo-communism, you fucking dumb fuck. As for Putin, I'm Putin too. My rear is so Putin. But um, what about the Russian women leaving Russia and moving to India and the who who are being I, I I guess they're being exploited. I'm not sure, but um, honestly, India's marketing whiteness through Russian women in the same way America markets blackness to whiteness and whiteness to blackness. And I get it. So why don't you use those Russian women? Find a new male streep because she does look Slavic, and create a new series of '80s films marketed to women. For instance, you go is a reference to Yugoslavia, also a reference to Sophie's Choice. And in that, you talk about Slavic disputes. And you got a market. I'm just telling you. Don't mess with the maestro, babes. I love you too. I love all you. Goodbye.